We are now in one of the areas of receiving for sample prep. This is one of the boxes that we did receive off of UPS today. What we're going to do is open it up. Um, we're going to take the samples out. This is the pre-made paperwork with our Midwest Labs auto submit number on the paperwork. It appears that there's one through four samples on this particular field ID and what we're going to do is lay them out one through four. The samples are laid out one through four. Now we're going to jump up here to the farm ID for the on-farm network and make sure everything matches on every single bag. The sample IDs look good, they match the paperwork. So what we're gonna do is attach a lab number to each individual sample. That way we can track them from start to finish through the lab. Um, every single sample here at the lab gets a new, clean, sterile pan. These four lab numbers match the four lab numbers here on our auto submit number. and then there's identical lab numbers to match the pan. Something new here at the lab that we just started, um, these, these lab numbers right here have a little barcode on them. This barcode is very important here at the lab now. Now we can track the samples as soon as they go into the oven, when they come out of the oven, as well as who ground them and which grinder they went through. So what we can do now that the paperwork matches the bags, we're going to take the samples out and we're going to count to make sure that there's 10 samples per bag. This particular sample happens to have 12 samples in it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to note that sample 1 has 12 samples. Sample 2 has the correct number as 10. Sample 3 has 10 as well. Um, our last sample here on the auto is number four. We're just going to make sure it has ten as well. Sample four has ten as well. Um, we have a checklist on these pre-made um, auto submits for the on-farm network. Um, samples labeled correctly, yes. Correct sample bag, the cloth, white bags, yes. Correct sample length. We have these pre-made um, PVC pipes to kind of measure eight inches. And we do a quick, quick measurement, sample length, yes. Ten stocks per sample. I'm going to put no on this because sample one, we received 12 samples. And then it says samples moldy. Um, they appear to be in good shape, so I'm going to go ahead and click no on that.